I don't know what's going on over here, but there's a pretty good fire roaring behind this Kia dealership over here. I think it's a Kia dealership. It might be a collision place, but uh, it looks like a car. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's going on there, brother. Dude, I don't like. That's crazy. I don't know what's going on here. Like, no fire trucks to be seen. Has anyone even called 911 yet? I don't know. Maybe it's like a training exercise if a car blows up at the collision place. <laughs> Someone's getting fired for sure, bro. There goes the fire truck. I think, that just sounds like someone's brakes are done. Fire's over there, we're at Rudy's now, boys. What's up guys, Cars Across Texas here, and today you join us here in Tomball, Texas for the speed out of the of Rudy's meet. Uh, it's gonna be a little less crazy here because now they're not doing it so like open invitation. Uh, a little bit more private so less dummies come. But uh, shout out Jamie Downs. You and your puppy are always looking for my puppy and counting down to when I say, we should have brought Enzo. Well, guess what? Today, Enzo makes a special guest appearance because it's not crazy hot. But we're here. There's lots of cool cars here. So without further ado, let's jump right into the action. Let me know what your favorite cars in today's video in the comments below. Remember, shop cars across Texas ends up up 20% off. Get your shirt, jacket, hat, whatever sport channel, and let's get right into it. Reunited and it feels so good. Enzo has his girlfriend back again. Enzo, you turd. Oh, wait, that's not Enzo's girlfriend. That's a different puppy. Enzo, you sly dog. Why ain't you here? The bully's rolling through. What's up, what's up? The chopping C6 and the school bus yellow Mustang. We got the boy Moheen. Oh, pop, pop, pop. But then over here, next to the big boy lifted excursion. I know some of you truck boys are going to like this one. Um, but next to him, we got the crazy garage built 1600 horsepower GTR with his fresh new shoes on, the Boost Logic bead locks all the way around with some meats all the way around as well. Looking at it, pretty tasty. Another super nice, much more stock sounding C6, but they do have like the Callaway hood. Is this a Callaway Grand Sport? It might be a, oh, it is a Callaway Grand Sport. Okay, sneaky, sneaky. Okay, this is sick. It doesn't sound as crazy as Mohim's car over here, but we have a Callaway supercharged C6 Grand Sport. That's pretty sick. Oh, it's time for the, it, this is the girlfriend. Enzo, in love. Oh, that's a unit right here. A couple very nice vets. Got the old school C2 drop top rolling through, side pipes and everything in a very nice color, it's like forest green. And then we have a very, looking heavily trapped C5. You got the Z06 wheels on, the Cam S stickers. Then we got the Cam T Trans Am behind him. And you can see this man at one point in time had a quite a large wing on the back right here. He's got the mounts for it still intact. Which would you take, the Cam T Trans Am or the Cam S C5 Vet? I'm taking the C2. Y'all can't have that one. And we got Jeremy in the new C4 Vet, new to him at least, in the best color for the C4 Vets. It's like Calypso green off the Fox bodies, but on the C4, I like it. Fee parked the Z4 in the show and got kicked out. R.I.P. Fee. Rest in Fee! R.I.P. <laughs> oh my God, I'm ready to be a dad. I got the dad jokes lined up on deck. Farewell, my friend. And then we got the butternut Camaro. Looking so good, always a favorite out here. I'm making up the color names as I go. What did you say it was called? It's called the butternut Camaro. Make it wink. Oh wow, that's a much more animated motion than the Miatas. There's so many dogs here for Enzo. Enzo wants to play with everyone, but they don't want to play with him, because he's an asshole. Okay, now this looks like a party. It sounds like a party too. Side pipes. <laughs> Sir, can I ask you what's going on with this? What you got? Yeah, I got you, I got you. This thing sounds like a party. He's got Rocky Mountain Race Week stickers on it. Yes, sir. Okay, I do want to know what's going on with this little little Dodge truck thing. 
He's got the, the sticky tires in the back, the skinny's up front, and I don't know what I'm looking at. It sounds rowdy though, sounds like a party. Everybody calls it a farm truck. <laughs> <laughs> kinda, it kinda has the farm truck vibes going. <laughs> oh hell yeah, brother. <laughs> oh my it's goodness. It's dirty, I just got done doing Rocky Mountain Race Week, so. It's still fantastic. I haven't uh, anything up. What did you run on Rocky Mountain Race Week? Uh, I averaged 12.50 actually the whole time. So Not bad at all. It's just a 5.3 cam converter. Headers and yeah, that's and not much to it. Yeah, that's, that's plenty. It sounds like a party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snake eater injected. Yeah. <laughs> injectors, everybody loves to hate. <laughs> we got the puppies. This puppy has been in several videos before. The blue-eyed puppy. Hello, my friend. But then we got this unit over here. <laughs> Hello, my friend. <laughs> my boy in the Bolton Z01, Trent pulling in the billet specialties all the way around. Looking fantastic. Those wheels are so sick. For being a bolt-on car, like, I don't even, like, not even cammed or anything. He's taking some serious names out racing, like, much faster cars. Those 10 speeds, not fair. The Red Bastard Boosted Fox Body making a lot of appearances in the videos lately. Sounding crazy. Listen to that blower. So we got the Gallardo Super Leggero rolling in. And I believe Giallo Midas on the four Giattos. Interesting. Those aren't bad four Giattos. But look at this truck, man. Look at this thing. This thing is beautiful. Like every little detail about it's insane. The fabrication work and the paint work are both equally nuts. To like get a little, maybe LS in the hood or something. My wife. Go inside, you got the all whited out interior. Simple, but so clean and so classy. You got the gator skin wrapped uh, speaker box back here. Look at that dash though. This thing is sick. And then the most impressive part of it all, look at this. All this custom fab work, it's insane. So as per usual, the vet squad is out in numbers at Ruse. We got a couple C3s here. We got this one. He's on some tire in the back as well, but I believe he is in A. Then we got this guy who's got the massive like 671 blower on his C3. He's also on a little sticky tire in the back. Look how big this blower is, man. That thing is nuts. And then possibly the rarest vet here. We got the Callaway C6 Grand Sport. And what I believe, I think it's called Night Race Blue. Or is it just black? I can't tell. But this thing is so clean. You got the carbon fiber, like, little hood scoop thing covering up that little blower under there. I think these are 2300 blowers. I could be wrong, though. Maybe 2650s. But this thing is so sick and so rare. But look at this. We got a dropped utility truck. Like a, drop, a dropped C10 utility truck. This thing is sick, dude. And then we go on to the next one. Next to the C5 we already got. We got the very beautiful yellow 65, I think, Mustang. Looking super good. And the little Cobra. Look at this thing. I think he's, I think it's the same one that's out a lot of these, but can never go wrong with one of these, man. I want to drive one of these really bad. This Subi sounds like a party. You got the hood? The hood exit? Oh hell yeah, bad FBI. And then another quick boy rolling in behind him. This thing's super clean. And then you got the Callaway C6. Rolling out already. Or is he rolling out or is he finding a parking? He had a passenger earlier. I don't know where his passenger went. That thing is so sick. The Fox body rolling the boosted on the HRE's Fox body. So clean, dude. That's me as a dad right there. Baby seat in the passenger seat of the Fox. We got five point. Oh my God. My, oh my God as well. <laughs> we got more puppies for Enzo to be friends with. Hello. Hi. You are so sweet. Enzo, don't be an ass. We got this guy out here. Uh, I'm pretty sure he watches the videos. Uh, one of the car meets pretty recently. He leaned out of the window and goes, my favorite YouTuber before he gunned it for us. The supercharged 5.0 on the bead locks out back. So we got more Lambos over here. The Gyarda Zoopla we got pulling a little bit ago. 
and the uh, Huracan. That's crazy kitted out. He's got the aftermarket front end on here. He's got some crazy Vorsteiner wheels, carbon fiber galore, carbon fiber side skirts, and a really cool wing. And the carbon fiber rear end. This is a new car for the Houston area as well. He's just recently picked this up, I believe, from Mark Motors out in uh, Austin or San Antonio or something. Enzo, you dead, bro? <laughs> the Subi boys have all gathered here today. They're uh, squatting up. He rolled over here so he could be uh, a part of the boosty quick Subi boys. I think 145 in my sister's Jetta. Nice. So this color is really nice on this old truck. It reminds me of Atomic Orange on the C6s. I like this a lot, actually. This is so like cool and classic. This paint is crazy. It's super glittery. You got the side pipes and look at this interior. The dash painted to match the outside. My favorite. My favorite C6 ZR1. The highest mileage C6 ZR1 in the country at that. Infernal Orange. I would sell my whole life to get one of these but Inferno Orange C6 ZR1 owners that don't have over 100,000 miles are all on crack and think this car is worth $100,000 and I have a really tough time paying six figures for a C6 interior but still so sick man. So we got the little Audi here next to the Land Rover Range Rover Defender Squad over here. You got this guy separated by a little Ford truck, a little excursion and then you got the oldest one in the in the in the lot. Look at this guy. This is crazy. This is like some straight out of a safari with the wheel on the hood. This thing is sick. He's got the Euro plate still on. We got the most bougie of them all in the new Range Rover. We got the off-road ready and capable with the roof rack one. Look at all these boys though. This is crazy. Ah! Crazy zombie apocalypse truck. But look at all these guys, this is nuts. We got Defenders on Defenders on Defenders over here. We got old school Range Rovers, Land Cruisers, Land Rovers, all that stuff. Look at this. All off-road ready and off-road willing, baby. Little paint <laughs> imperfections. He uses that Range Rover. Then you got this guy who's lifted, the old Discovery. Or is this just, oh no, this is an old Land Rover, I think. Why did they come out with numbers? I've never seen this many out anywhere in Houston, uh, but I guess like the club decided to come out to speed advocates tonight. So I see a couple things I very much fancy over here. Looks like we got a, like an early S95 Mustang over here on a tire out back. You got the skinnies up front and everything. This thing's pretty cool. I don't know what he's working with, how fast his car is, but he's got enough tire to tell me he he pretty quick. Then you got the old truck. Perfect black paint, perfectly detailed. Not it's like a single dirt patch on it. Red truck bed, this thing's nice. Polished chrome wheels, love to see it. I just missed this car open up its headlights, but that was so sick. They <laughs> like opened the door and the lights were hot. That was so cool. <laughs> this thing sounds crazy though. The Cobra rolling out boys. This thing is so sick. Them side pipes rumbling. Oh, this is sick, we got a track hawk on a drag pack. The bead locks, oh my god, the tent's nuts. That thing is sick, bro. So this Trackhawk right here is a spicy unit, indeed. He's got the meats out back, the bead locks on it. This looks like a party machine, man. Got the welds, look at this. Now I see you boys in the comments, I see a lot of you boys telling me to get one of these as a dad car, but my predicament is I already have a dad car. But should I sell the Explorer and get one of these? Maybe. I got a good deal on the Explorer, so I'm sure I could uh, have a nice little down payment with it. But this is a spicy unit. Indeed, I would very much like a track hawk at some point. All right, boys, I will make y'all a deal right here, right now, set in stone that I don't think is too unachievable. If this video gets 100,000 views, 
I will get a track hawk. Oh my god, that's a big promise. If this gets 100,000 views, I'm gonna be pissed. Do it. <laughs> so, so, you know what that means. Leave me some likes, leave me some comments. That helps the video get recommended more. And we'll get a track hawk. Oh god. So y'all, y'all better pull the channel back from the grave if you want to see a track hawk. Alrighty boys, I don't know when this got here, but uh, another Lambo pulled in. The Lambo squad in the building. We got a Huracan and two Gallardos. Man just gets out of one Lambo, gets in another. Man, you living the life. <laughs> The Venomous Mustang. It's not my favorite YouTuber. Yes, sir. How are you? It's a car sounding good. The Paxton Mustang rolling out. That thing is so sick. The little LS Farm truck just rolling out. He did Rocky Mountain Race Week, ran consistent 1250s, he said. I think it's so sick. And then we got the C2 vet rolling out as well. That thing sounds nuts. We got the Lambo rolling out behind him. Looking good. And then a little fox body rolling out. And then after he rolls by, we're rolling out. That thing is so beautiful. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Lots of really cool cars here at the Rudy's Meet and Tomball. Like this little Super Legera rolling out. That thing is nice. So clean. But we're heading out. Let me know if you want me to get a track hawk. If you do want me to get one, make sure to leave likes, comments, subscribes, all that stuff. Get this video recommended to all the boys. And uh, maybe we'll get a track hawk. We'll sell the Explorer and get a track hawk. I don't know. But uh, we're rolling out. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Let me know what your favorite car was in the comments down below. I'll catch you next one, guys. Peace.